Volapük is a constructed language created in 1879 by Johann Martin Schleyer, and all Volapük levels of Regex Crossword is a video created by Chill Coats from her Twitch stream. If you'd like to see more recent content, I'd suggest you head over there. So if I look at my bottom Regex password, I've got the letters G, I, and N, and then I've got a dot. So I know that this first one is going to be G, I, or N. If I look at my top regex pattern, I see G-R-A-P-E-Z. So the only letter that's in both of those is G. Let me validate that against my left and my right regex pattern. So I look the, if I look at my left regex pattern, I see porge and I've got ors between P-O-R, G, and E. So it validates against the left one because of that G there. If I look at my right regex pattern, it looks like it has G-R-A as that first character set, and G is in that, so I do validate against my right regex pattern as well. Um, let me step to, hmm, which one wanna, do I want to do next? I'm going to step to this one, I think. So with this one, I have square brackets around an up arrow and an I-O-N. I have a forward slash S, that means white space, and then I've got a capital S, which is just an S. So my character can't be I-O or N or a space or an S. If I look at my bottom character set on the bottom regex pattern, I have S-P-I-K and forward slash S. Um, out of those, it looks like P and K are the only two options. Oh, hello, Ruby. Are the only two options that um, aren't part of the top regex string. If I look at my left regex pattern, I do have a P from that P-O, um, and I do not have a K. So I know that it has to be P, and it has to be followed by an O. If I validate that against the right regex pattern, I have G-R-A for the first character. I have P for my middle character. Thank you for the ambient noise there. Um, and I can have one or more Ps, and then I've got another character. So yeah, this is looking like a P. And then if I am looking at my left regex pattern, if I have a P, it has to be followed by an O. Please don't drink my tea. This is my cat, Ruby. You can sit here, okay? <laughs> All right. So that O is going to validate against my right regex pattern because um, it ends with a dot star, which is uh, one or more of any character. If I look at my top regex pattern above this O, um, now she's going for some muffins on my desk. It looks like we're going to have a stream full of Ruby. Okay, so let's see. I have this O here um, in my top regex pattern, and that can either be OS or OP, but it has to be one of those two options. Um, so let's see. My bottom regex pattern says um, it has those square brackets and then a knot around Z, Y, and P, so I know that it can't be P, which means this has to be S. Let me validate that against my left and my right regex pattern. So my left regex pattern um, ends with the letters K, I, N, Z, or S in a character set, and that plus sign means that I can have one or more of them. So that S does validate against that. If I look at my right regex pattern, I see that it ends with K, I, S, or that forward slash S, which means space. So I can also place an S here according to that. Awesome, so let's see, let's head one back. So we have, it cannot be any of the letters in ions or a space, and it has to be within the letters. You know what, actually, I'm gonna start with this one because what I see is in my left regex pattern, I've got parentheses around a Z, and then I've got a pipe, which means or, and then I've got two O's, and if I look at my right regex pattern, I see parentheses around X, and then I see a pipe, which is or, Y, pipe, which is or, and then Z. So I know that the first character from my right regex pattern is X, Y, or Z, and if I look at my left regex pattern, I know that it has to be Z. Now let's take a minute to validate this against our top and bottom regex pattern. Now our top regex pattern has letters G, R, A, P, E, Z. Z is included in there, so we're good. That plus sign means one or more, so G, Z is fine. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, I have a dot, which can be absolutely any character, so it looks like I'm fine on that one as well. Now I can move on to this one. Uh, let's see. So this one is going to be 
So my left regex pattern has K, I, N, Z, and S, and my right regex pattern has K, I, S, and then a space. So I know that it has to be K, I, or S because that's in both character sets. If I look at my bottom character set, I also have that K, I, and S, um, and the other characters don't match, so they don't get included. If I look at my top character set, though, um, I see that I and S, but it's got the arrow before it, which means that both of those are excluded, which means we have a K. Hmm. So G POSCs validates. I don't know what it means, but it validates. <laughs> All right. Let me look at this. I love this top regex pattern because it just starts with an M with no modifiers. So I know that that absolutely has to be an M. If I look at my left regex pattern, this validates because I can have Y or a forward slash D, which is any digit, or I can have an M, so my M validates. If I look at my right regex pattern, I see these square brackets that say not I or B, and M is neither of those, so I'm good. And if I look at my bottom regex pattern, it has to be included in the letters um, M, A, or P. Now let's take a minute to look at this one. So I have square brackets, um, and then I have an uppercase forward slash D. Now a lowercase forward slash D indicates any digit, but an uppercase like D indicates anything but a digit. And I'm gonna pop out the help panel here just to validate that really quick. And I'm pretty sure that's true. Yep, so that just means that it's not a digit, which means that our two characters here can be, according to that forward slash D, any character, any white space, as long as it's not a number. If I look at my bottom regex pattern though, for this one and this one, I can see that M, A, and P, so I know that it's going to be included um, in those letters. Let's try looking at my left regex pattern. So my left regex pattern has dot H. Now this means any character and then an H, and then it has a pipe, and then it's got a P. And then it's got another pipe, and those pipes, as we mentioned before, are or. And then it's got a dot P. That means any possible character and then a P. So none of those really, um, like, none of those really help us with what this character is. Um, let's try looking at our right regex pattern. So our right regex pattern here has uh, a not before parentheses P or Y. Okay. Let me go back. Actually, let me pull up help real, here real quick. Yeah, okay, I was right. Okay, so when you see that up arrow inside of square brackets, that indicates a character set and that the character that is going to be in that location is not part of the character set. But when you see an up arrow and it's not inside those square brackets, it has a different meaning. It means it's an anchor and that anchors to the start of the line. So this right here just says that the first character is going to be right here, and it's going to start with a P or a Y. Now it's got a star after it. That star means you could have zero or more. Thus far, we haven't really seen them use the zero aspect of that very much, but that could change. Um, the description for this one is that Volapuk is just an example of pure regex prowess, and I'm like, okay, that sounds intimidating and exciting. Um, let's look at the next one. So the next one says um, either PA or, and then it's got a forward slash dot. Um, that forward slash dot, whenever you see that forward slash, you're escaping a character. So we are escaping the meaning of any possible character for that dot. Instead, we're just saying it will be a dot. And then it's got an H and then a um, dollar sign, and that dollar sign is end of the line. So that's an anchor for the end of the line. So if we look at this one, what it says is the first character can be P or Y, and it's got zero or more of those. And then the next character will be P, A, or it'll be a period and then an H, and the H would have to go here because it's anchored to the end of the line. I don't think I have enough clues to really figure this character out yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the next one. If I look at this one, I have any digit, I, P, or a space as my first character of this regex pattern. 
Um, it's not modified, so there has to be a character there. This one I actually can figure out because if I look at my bottom regex pattern, I can have either an M, an A, or a P, and P is the only matching character with that left regex string. Now let me validate this against my right regex string. My right regex pattern, I keep calling it a string, my right regex pattern has um, P, A, and then it's got two slashes. Um, let me think about this for a second. So when we're inside the square brackets, there's another way that you can um, escape the special meaning of characters, and that is by putting them inside this, but that doesn't apply to forward slash Ds. It only applies to things like periods, I think. So if we have forward slash slash, I think that means that you can put a forward slash in here. And then the letter, the letter lowercase d, and then it's got forward slash d, which means you can put any digit in there, and that one's unescaped. Does that make sense? I'm going to roll through this one more time because I got a little bit of feedback on some of my previous videos that I go too fast. So I've got square brackets around p, a, and then I've got two forward slashes. Forward slash escapes a special character. Um, Sometimes you don't need them inside the square brackets, but in this case, it's escaping that forward slash D. So what that means is that we've escaped that forward slash, so now it's just a forward slash. So we've got the characters in this set, P, A, forward slash, D, and then any digit, which is that forward slash D, the last one combined. And we've got one or more of any of those. This validates against our left regex string just fine. <laughs> Let me uh, look at this one now. Okay, so we've got on my left regex string, Y, any digit, or M. On my right regex string, um, I have any digit between 0 and 3. I've got a range here. It's that square bracket 0, 3. And from my top regex string, uh, or from my top regex pattern, I have forward slash slash D which would be a slash, and that's not going to match against our 0 to 3 pattern, and then a D. Or I have forward slash D, which is um, the digit, and then any character in this next spot. And we'll ignore the second half of that regex pattern for now because it won't apply to this one. From my bottom regex pattern, I have not the characters <laughs> 2, 0, 1, or 3. Okay, so from my right regex pattern, I'm looking for something between 0 and 3. And for my bottom regex pattern, I can't have 0, 1, 2, or 3. Oh, okay, 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 that's cool. That's fun. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty, that's pretty clear to me. Like this right regex string has square brackets around zero to three, and that would go right here. Oh, by the way, this one ends in Y, and because that's not modified by anything, we just know that's Y. If we look at this top regex pattern, um, this has to be YH. Um, we can't use this Y dollar sign because dollar sign anchors to the end of the um, regex pattern. So we have to use the YH. H validates against the second half of this regex pattern, um, which means this has to be a dot, which matches our dot H because dot can be any character. This is forward slash uh, dot, which means that it is specifically a period. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think that's as far as this goes. Let me look at this. Okay. So this bottom one says that it can't be 2, 0, 1, or 3. And this right one says that it has to be a number between 0 and 3. Let me look at help really quick. So we've got square brackets, dashes, number between 0 and 9. Yeah, that's all, that's all pretty clear. Hmm. Is that maybe? Oh, it's tricky. It's tricky. That's an O. That's not a zero. If you look at the right regex pattern, the zero has a slash through it, 
And if you look at the bottom regex pattern, the zero doesn't have a slash to it because it's not a zero, it's an O. That's not even like, and then like their O for the actual regex pattern, like there's zero, I just put a zero in here, I did not put an O. Their zero for the actual regex pattern does not match the font. See, that's not like, that's not like regex pr prowess, that's just like sneaky. That's not fun. Okay. It's still fun, but like, I'm still, I'm still going to say stuff about it. <laughs> All right, let me look at this one. I think I now have enough information to solve this one. So because we've got two characters in that second half of the string, I know that I only have one character space for this front one, or for this first character, so it has to be a key. Let me go over that. Left regex pattern, um, I have dot .h, dot .p, or p. Um, two of those are two character patterns and one of those is a one character um, one character piece of the pattern. So I know that this kind of has to be um, a P because it's the only one that's gonna fit in that space. And it validates against our top and bottom one because we've got not a digit IP and the bottom one has MAP. All right, let's look at this one. Let's look at this sneaky one. All right, so we have not two, O, one or three. And then we have a forward slash dot that escapes that dot. So that is specifically a period. Then if I look at this bottom one, I've got two forward slashes. So this forward slash escapes the second forward slash, which means that that character is also just a forward slash. Now this has a star behind it. Um, star means you've got zero or more of that character. So we could have a forward slash or we could not have a forward slash. Now I look at my last part of this regex um, pattern and I've got A or P and then I've got a question mark. A question mark means zero or one. So I either have a forward slash or an A or a P. If I look at my left regex pattern, I have any digit, any white space, oh man. <laughs> so my first character is any digit, uh, an I, a P, in any white space, but my second character onwards is just dot plus, which means one or more of any possible character. So let's look at this right regex pattern. I've got a P, I've got an A, I've got a forward slash, forward slash, so forward slash is included in here, and then I've got any digit, and I've also got the character D. So if I look at this, I've still got A, P, and forward slash as options for this. So let's look at our top regex pattern. So our top regex pattern has forward slash, forward slash, which that first forward slash escapes the second forward slash. So we've added forward slash to our character set. The second forward slash, let's see, the second forward slash escapes the backslash, I think. I think. I think the second forward slash escapes the backslash, although I don't think backslash has a special meaning in regex, so I'm not sure why you'd need to escape that. Uh, and then we have a capital B. Um, and I'm going to check the help, but I don't think B is anything in regex. Like, I think it's just a B. Let's see. We'll scroll down here. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Do not match at beginning or end. Hmm. But there's like a... It's got the wrong slash in front of it, so I don't think that even, I don't think that does anything. Anyway, we don't have an A or a P in our top regex pattern, which means that I think this has to be a forward slash because we do have a forward slash in that character set. All right, now we've got one more to go. One more piece of this puzzle. So we have in our bottom regex pattern, we have the letters from how, we have a two and a Y. From my right regex pattern, um, if I'm looking at how to y, I've got that forward slash d, which is going to match my two, and I don't think I have anything else that matches that. Let's check this against my top and my left regex strings. So if I look at my left regex string, I've got a forward slash d. Forward slash d is any digit. If I look at my top regex pattern, I've got a forward slash d dollar sign. That dollar sign means that it has to match at the end of the regex. Uh, it has to match at the end of the string, not just like the regex pattern. It's got to be the full end of the string. Um, and this is the end of that. So we can use that forward slash D for any digit. Let's validate. Ah, yes, I got it right. Oh, I'm excited. I'm happy about that. All right, cool. 
Let's see. Um, so our top regex pattern here is Mensa question mark. Okay, so I mentioned this before. If you're inside the square brackets, then that question mark is just a question mark. Um, it doesn't modify the A that comes before that because you're establishing a character set. If I look at my left regex pattern, I have not the letters A, P, or E, or the letters from ape. Um, that up arrow means not. Square bracket defines a character set. Let's look at the bottom regex pattern. The bottom regex pattern says um, same thing, square brackets. That up arrow defines uh, not, so it is not within this character set. And we've got N, A, P, and then we've got forward slash S, which is any white space character, but we've been using space whenever we have to do white space characters here. If I look at my right regex pattern, I get something kind of helpful here. I've got M through Q, so that's going to be um, M, N, O, P, Q, yeah, M, N, O, P, Q, right? So if I look at my top regex string, uh, M and N are in, still included, but that N is taken out by my bottom regex string. S is excluded by my right regex string. A is excluded by my left regex string and my bottom regex string. And question mark is excluded by my right regex string. And so is E. So this has to be M. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep moving on. <laughs> so if I go to this next one, um, to the top regex string, I have A or uh, that forward slash is an escape. So we've escaped um, the meaning of that question mark. So it's now just the character question mark. Or, same thing as before, that character question mark P or in P. And that's going downwards. Um, let's see. If I look at my right regex string, it's no longer being helpful. It's a dot, which means all characters. If I look at my bottom regex string, I see um, that it can contain the characters P, E, in a space, and A or a question mark. Now I've got in P and question mark P and A and question mark. So that one didn't turn out to be helpful either. If I look at my left regex pattern, um, both the question mark P and the NP aren't going to run up against this um, eight validation. Um, the only one this really gets rid of for me is the A. So I don't think I have enough to solve this one yet. So I'm gonna move on and come back to it later. All right, so I have the characters Y, O, U, question mark, B, E from my top regex pattern. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, um, I have that dot plus. That dot plus means one or more of any characters. So that's going to be anything. If I look at my right regex pattern, it's being slightly more helpful this time. I have A through E. So A, B, C, D, E. If I look at A, B, C, D, E, only the letters B and E from my top regex pattern are going to match both. If I look at my left regex pattern, I see that I cannot have the letters A, P or E, well, yeah, I can't have the characters A, P or E at this point. Now the end of this regex pattern has a dot question mark. Dot question mark means zero or one, which means that that can only apply to this, which means I'm still within the parameters of that not A, P, E, which means that this has to be B because we've just excluded E from our character set. Sweet. Now we're moving. All right, let's see. So this last one, if I look at my right right, right character sh set, is going to be M through Q again. M, N, O, P, Q. Sweet. My top regex pattern says that it can be either O or P. Um, yeah, so O and P are both in that M through Q character set. But if I look at my left regex pattern, I am no longer in the not A, P, E. I'm in the dot question mark. I could be still in the um, not APE, but I'm definitely in the question mark territory, so that's not particularly helpful. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, it says uh, it's got a character set and it starts with not. So it cannot be B A T apostrophe S or a question mark. Okay, so let's look at this top regex pattern for a minute. We've got parentheses around O or P. What this is doing, um, whenever you have those parentheses, is you're defining a capture group. 
capture groups can be reused. And if we look at this, that forward slash one, forward slash one, what that means is it is going to reuse the result of the capture group from O or P. And if I look at this, that means that both the rules from this and the rules from this must all validate against O or P. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I just saw something helpful. If I look at my left regex pattern over here, I have square brackets around Y, O, exclamation mark, and then I've got a plus. That plus sign means I've got one or more of those, and it's at the end of the regex pattern, so it has to be at the end of this pattern. So because I've got that Y, O, I know that this has to be an O because my top regex pattern limits it to O or P. Since this is an O, and that validates against the right regex pattern and the bottom regex pattern. This has to be an O. Oops. This has to be an O. And this has to be an O. Yeah, all of these have to be O's because um, those forward slash ones are going to match exactly what was in the capture group, not the pattern of the capture group. If I look at my right regex pattern, this validates because UO and DUO both end in O. So if I look at UO and DUO, I know that this letter has to be a U. Let me validate that against the other regex patterns. If I look at the top regex pattern, that character set includes a U. If I look at the bottom regex pattern, we're in the dot plus uh, section of this. And actually, if I look at this bottom regex pattern, if this is a U, or, yeah, if this is a U, then that parentheses Y or BE um, has to be the Y. It can't be the BE because we don't have space for both characters, which means if this is a U, then this has to be a Y. And that's going to validate. Okay, so if I look at my right regex pattern, I've got dot plus, which is one or more of any character, and that Y will match against that, even though um, Y comes after W. If I look at my left regex pattern, that Y-O exclamation mark plus means one or more. So I can still be in that part of it. If I look at, let's see, if I look at my left regex pattern, the last two characters are um, both dots. So these can be any of these two characters. Okay, so that U validates and this Y validates. Awesome. That's fun. I like that. Okay. Let's see. Where do we want to go back to? How about we go here? So if I look at my left regex pattern, I see something nifty. I see a P and it has no modifiers whatsoever. So I know that either here or here, I have to have a P, right? Now, let me tell you why it can be in either of these two places. Um, my left regex pattern has a parentheses around um, an exclamation mark or an a uh, an apost a forward slash apostrophe? No, an apostrophe or the character dot or question mark, and then it's got a question mark. That question mark means you've got zero or one of that capture group's character. Now, that means that this P could happen here and this YO plus could be all of these. But if I look at my bottom regex pattern, it says uh, it's got square brackets and then it's got that up arrow, which says that it cannot be one of the characters in that character set. And I've got the characters N, A, and P down there, which means that this can't include the letter P which means this has to be that P. And if I look at this, my bottom character set, it validates because um, it's within P, E, N, space, A, question mark. It validates against my um, right regex pattern, both because it's between M and W and because it could be in that dot plus. Um, and actually we're inside that dot plus part of the pattern, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, and it validates against my top regex pattern only if this character is an N or a question mark. So if you look at this, I have the options A, I have the option of a question mark, or I can put a question mark P or a question, or sorry, a question mark P, or I can put an N P. So if I look at this, all right, so what I now know is if I think this is gonna be an N or a question mark, we can't be looking at duo. We've gotta be looking at that um, dot question mark. The dot question mark in the right regex pattern indicates that you can have uh, zero or one of any character. If I look at my left regex pattern, um, I've got the characters S, N, A, K, or E, and I've got one or more of those. Um, my last two characters are fixed being dots, but those have already been used by the U or the O. 
which means that I have to use this uh, snake part of the pattern. So yeah, pretty sure that's it in based on all of the above information. All right, so let's see, we've got an in here. That's all that. That means that this top character, now we have enough clues to solve it. This top character has to be either an A or a question mark. But if I look at, because of my top regex pattern, I've got A and I've got forward slash question mark. Um, and that forward slash question mark escapes it and makes it just a question mark. Um, so yeah, I can have either A or question mark and the others are more than one character, so I can't reuse those. If I look at my left regex pattern, um, I've got those square brackets around A, P, and E, and then I've got the up arrow for not, which means that I cannot use A, which means that I am using question mark. Hey. All right, let's do this. All right, so our left regex pattern, we can have the letters in snake. If I look at my right regex pattern, um, my first character set here um, cannot include any of the letters from the word naked which means S is the only character that's gonna work for both snake and naked. So if I put S here, let me check that that validates. I think it's my top and bottom regex pattern. So my top regex pattern has uh, the letters from Mensa and a question mark. S is included in that, so we're good. My bottom regex pattern says that I cannot have the letters in nap and I cannot have a white space, which is what that forward uh, slash S indicates. S validates against that, so we're good. All right, time for the last one. If I look at this, I've used my P in the second character, which means that I am using this zero or one of the first uh, capture group. Now I have forward slash exclamation mark. That means I can use an exclamation mark. I have forward slash apostrophe. That means I can use an apostrophe. I have forward slash dot. That means I can use a dot. I've got forward slash question mark. That means I can use a question mark. If I look at my top regex pattern, the only thing in there that is a like piece of punctuation is the question mark. And this is going to validate against my bottom regex pattern because that ends in a dot, which means any character. It's also going to validate against my left regex pattern because my left regex pattern just says uh, one or more of any character. And we've been in that one or more of any character um, since this Y over here. So we've got M question mark, boss, nuo question mark, pio. But it validates. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this one. From my top regex pattern, I have A. 5 through 9, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've got a forward slash backslash, so that's just a backslash, and I've got one or more of that. For my left regex pattern, yes, for my left regex pattern, I have forward slash D, and I've got one or more of those. For my right regex pattern, I have 4, 0, and 7. And they're doing that tricky thing where the O's and the zeros look different, but are easy to confuse. So let's see, I've got four, zero, and seven. So the only character that's between five and nine, that's a digit because of our left regex pattern, and also is between is in four, zero, and seven is gonna be seven. Let me take that and validate it against my bottom regex pattern. So my bottom regex pattern has zero through nine, a colon, a through Z, and then it's got um, a backslash, and then S, which is for any white space. So seven is gonna fit between zero and nine, so we're good on that one. Let's look at our next project pattern. All right, so we've got a digit, one or more of those, and then my next um, set of characters is M, E, W, and I can have one or more of those. So this could be either be a digit or it could be MEW. If I look at my right regex pattern, um, what that means is that I am limited to four, zero, seven, W, and M. If I look at my top regex pattern, I have the character set T, zero, X, 
any white space character and D. Now, between those three, zero is the only one that's in all three of them. Let's validate against our bottom regex pattern. So our bottom regex pattern does have a zero in it, but it only has a zero if it's followed by a D because we've got zero D or E white space or white space X. All right, so let's validate this D. If I look to the left, I've got a backslash, a B, an E, a D, and an S. So that D is included. If I look at my right regex pattern, I've got a parentheses around D or B, and that's followed by a plus, so I've got one or more of them. And I've also got a dot plus, which means um, I've got one or more of any character. So I know that I've got that D. Awesome. I please don't click that. <laughs> All right. Um, so that that validates. By the way, it's very confusing that like they don't put the line through the zero in the font. Um, for the most part, I absolutely love the usability of this page. Like I can hit enter to validate. I can tab easily between all of these um, and the tab starts in a reasonable place. But I will say in solving these puzzles, like being able to tell the difference between an O and a zero is a little bit hard here. All right, let's look at this one. Um, I've got B, M, X, apostrophe, S, and I've got one or more of that character. If I look at my left regex pattern, um, I don't have any digits in this one, so I think we're done with the digits for now. Um, I've got M, E, and W. M is in my left regex pattern and my top regex pattern, and M is in my right regex pattern. So that's kind of limited me there. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, um, I have a dot plus, which means one or more of any character. So I'm still good on that front. Let's move on to this one. We'll just keep moving in the line until we see something that directs us otherwise. Um, in my left regex pattern, I'm now in the NEW part. And if I look at my top regex pattern, I have W and E. That right regex pattern, as we've mentioned before, uh, limits us down to M and W. W is in all three of those. So if I look at my bottom regex pattern, um, what I've got is I've got square brackets with the up arrow, which indicates that it's not in that character set. I've got forward slash S, which is a white space. So it's not white space. It's not I. It's not N. It's not a backslash. It's not a five. So that means that we're good on this. W totally fits. Let's look at this one. We have forward slash backslash, which means it's just a backslash. Um, we've got B, E, D, and S. If I look at my top regex pattern, um, I have A, 5 through 9, and I have a backslash. Ooh, that's interesting. And I've got one or more of those characters. Um, and then it's followed by a digit. Because I don't have a digit here, um, I know that I'm still in the first part of that regex pattern on the top. If I look at my right regex pattern, I've got a, a one or more of any character, so that's not particularly helpful. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, though, um, oh, I've got that backsla backslash again. So that's been included in several places, so I know that this is a backslash. Let's hop over to here. So we've got beds and a backslash. If I look at my top regex pattern, um, I see that I've got B, M, X, apostrophe, S, and I've got one or more of those. Uh, my left and my top regex pattern both have B and S in them. Uh, if I look at my right regex pattern, um, I'm currently, I believe, in the part where I'm looking at Ds or Bs, and I've got one or more of those. Um, so B is going to match against that. Um, but at the end of it, I also have, um, oh, no, okay. At the end of it, I have one or more of a um, dot question mark, um, which is any character, zero or one of any character. So at this point, um, I'm well within the D or B range. I, I have to be because I've got one or more of those. Um, and I've only got one of that uh, any character, which means that this has to be a B. It cannot be an S. Oh, hold on. Let me validate that against my bottom regex pattern. So I've got one or more of dot plus. The dot plus means one or more of any character. Um, and then I've got a B, and this is just straight up a B, no modifiers, no nothing. 
So yeah, I'm working on a bee <laughs> that validates. All right, if I look at my left regex pattern, I have the backslash and then I have the beds. If I look at my top regex pattern, I have, let's see, I have a forward slash, so that's not gonna work. Oh yeah, I have a forward slash, I have an S, I have an E, so I have an E in both um, my left and my top regex pattern. My bottom regex pattern is just excluding stuff so that E will fit there. And on my right regex pattern, I have zero or one of any character. So that E is going to validate against that. So we're good there. Let's hop over here. So if I look at my left regex pattern, um, I have forward slash D, which is any digit, or I have um, forward slash backslash, which escapes that backslash. So now it's just the backslash. And then I have a D, so that's literally backslash D. Or I can have a P here, or I can have any white space character followed by an S, or I can just have an S. If I look at my right regex pattern, I have the letters S, P, 1, N, E, and any white space character. So based on that, I haven't limited, yeah, based on that, I've only excluded the, um, backslash D so far. Um, and if this is going to be a digit, it can be a one. So let's see. I think actually I can confirm that this is a one based on my top regex pattern. So my top regex pattern after the uh, square brackets are on A5 through 9 forward slash uh, and then one or more of any of those, it has a forward slash D, which means a digit. And then it's followed by a capture group. That capture group has to be this character here, which means this one absolutely has to be that digit. And the only number we've got that's a digit that's going to validate against our right regex pattern is one. So we know that that's one. If I go to this bottom regex pattern, and I don't know why I decided I wanted to do this one. <laughs> From my top regex pattern, I know that it has to be a colon. It has to be a dot because we've got that forward slash period, which means that it's just a period, or any white space character. If I look at my um, left regex pattern, it says it cannot be a Z, an O, any white space character, nor can it be a backslash or any digit, which means we're now limited to that colon and that period. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, I do see a colon in it. I don't see a period. However, if I look at my right regex pattern, I see in a, a colon, X, a comma, and an S, which means that a colon does match all of these regex patterns. Let's hop back up here. So we've got S, P, 1, N, E, and a space. If I look at my top regex pattern, I've got T, 0, X, a space, and then a D. The only thing that matches both of these is a space. So I put that in. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, Let's see, the only way that we can incorporate a space is if we follow it up with an X. So let me see if that validates. It validates against my top regex pattern because I've got that T0X. It validates against my left regex pattern because it's not a Z, O, white space, slash, or digit. It validates against my right regex pattern because it includes an X, so that does validate. The space validates and this X validates. If I look at my left regex pattern, the only way I can put a space here, which is that forward slash S, is if I follow it up with an S. Now I can follow it up according to the right regex pattern. The bottom regex pattern does have an S in it. If you look, I've got that B and then I've got parentheses S in or X in, or I've got the little N face. Um, the only way that I can put an S here is if I can follow it up with an N. Now let's look at that top regex pattern and see if this S N will validate against it. And then we'll check our N against our left and our right regex patterns. Although I'm looking at the left and the right regex patterns and N totally validates here because I've gotten the N in the right regex pattern and in the left regex pattern, I don't have an N and that's the one with the knot. And if I look at my top regex pattern, I've got an N question mark. This means zero or one Ns. So N will validate against that. And I also have an S in BMXs. So yes, this all validates and we're all good. Let's look at this one. 
All right. So in my right regex pattern, um, I have spine with a one and a space at the end. In my top regex pattern, um, the things that match against that are E and space. In my left regex pattern, in my left regex pattern, ooh, this is complicated. Let me take this again. So in my left regex pattern, I can include a space, but I can only include a space if it's followed by an S. So I can't use a space again. I can use a digit. I can use a backslash D. I can use a, oh, P. Okay, I can use a P here according to my left regex pattern and my top regex pattern has a P too. And my right regex pattern has a P from spine. And then if I look at my bottom regex pattern, I've got, it cannot be a white space character, so we couldn't have put a white space anyway. It cannot be an I, it cannot be an N, uh, it cannot be a backslash, and it cannot be a five, which means that P totally validates. Okay, good. Let me look at my bottom regex pattern. So if I look at my left regex pattern here, no, I'm going to look at the right one. The right one looks easier. So I've got N, I've got A, I've got colon, I've got X, I've got comma, I've got S. If I look at my top regex pattern, I've got A. I think that's the only one that matches both of them. And A is not in the left regex pattern, and A is not in the bottom regex pattern, and both of those are not in the set. So I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that worked. All right, so now we're on our last puzzle of today's stream. All right. Cool. So we still have plenty of time in today's stream. <laughs> if you would like to say hello or have a nice conversation, maybe make yourself a cup of tea and come back. I think you could probably bake cookies before this puzzle is done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're going to knock this right out. All right. So let's see. On my top regex pattern, I have the characters 2-T-A-I-L forward slash dash. So that forward slash is escaping the dash. So that's just a dash and then a D. In my left regex pattern, I have N3, TRA, and N7. Now I don't have an N in my top regex pattern, which means this has to be TRA, but let's validate this. My right regex pattern says it cannot be the letters in the word old or a space. My bottom regex pattern here says that it cannot be the characters I, L, Y, or O. So T validates against that. Now, if I look at this R, okay, if I look at my top projects pattern, I can have an R here, but I can only have an R if it's followed by a four or a Y. If I look at my bottom projects pattern, um, I can have the letters N, U, R, D, E, and W. So R is going to fit in that. And if I look at, yeah, everything validates against my right projects pattern. If I look at my top regex pattern for this A, um, I can have an A, like it's just in the top character set. If I look at my bottom character set, I've also got an A in there, so this is still good. Okay, so we're, we've validated this T, R, and A. Let's go back to this R, because we can only have this R here if we follow it up with a 4 or a Y. If I go down one character set, my left regex pattern makes this painfully clear, because I do not have a Y in there, I only have a 4. And that's going to validate against my right regex pattern because I've got that forward slash D, which means any digit. And then I've got a plus, which means one or more of them. So I can have this second uh, four here. Now let's see. Now because this slash D plus, because I know that the second character is a digit, I also know that the first character has to be a digit, right? So if I look at my uh, top character set, uh, the only thing that's a digit in here is the two. And if I look at my left character set, I also have a two, oops, a two in that character set, which means we've now got a two and a four. And that's going to validate against the bottom regex pattern because that one just says that it's not an I, L, Y, or O. Let's look at this one next. So now we've got N3 or N7, and this kind of has to be N3 or N7 because we only have space for two more characters, which means this character has to be an N. Let's validate that against the other patterns though. For the right regex pattern, it's not an old. For the top regex pattern, it's not in 
F A white space T one through two. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, um, I do have an N in that character set, so I'm good. The other thing I notice when I'm looking at this top regex pattern is that it ends in an F. That F isn't modified in any way, which lets me know that this character right here has to be an F, but we're still gonna validate that. If I look at my left regex pattern, I have, ooh, I have something exciting. So I have B through E and I've got one or more of those, but then what I've got is I've got parentheses and a dot. That indicates a capture group. Um, it indicates a capture group of any character, but more importantly, after that, I have a forward slash one, which is a repetition of what that capture group caught. So because I've got this F here, I know that I have to have an F here and that's what that capture group has to have caught. And we'll validate this one um, as soon as we're done validating this one. If I look at my bottom character set here, I do have an F in it. If I look at my right character set, or if I look at my right regex pattern, I've got a character set and it does have an F in it. So this F validates um, from every direction. Now let's look at this one. All right, so we know this validates against the left one. We know it validates against the right one because that has a character F in it. If we look at this bottom one, um, we do have an F in that character set, so it's included. And if we look at our top character set, that one still also has an F, so it's included there. So this F validates everywhere as well. Now let's see, what do I wanna do next? I guess I'll pop back up here because I don't see anything that's particularly jumping out at me. If I look at this, I have to have a three or I have to have a seven in order to put an in there. If I look at my top regex pattern, I have L, O, white space character, um, forward slash, question mark, and then I have five through eight. Seven is between five through eight, and it matches against that in seven from our left regex pattern. And if I look at my right regex pattern, um, it's not included an older white space character. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, I have a dot plus. That means one or more of any character at all. So that matches against that as well. If I look at this bottom regex pattern, I see something interesting. I see a forward slash question mark. Now, as we've mentioned before, forward slash escapes a character, which means that this last character has to be a question mark. Yay. All right. And this matches, let me check that this validates against my right regex pattern, I have a question mark. Against my left regex pattern, I have a dot, which is any character. Against my top regex pattern, I have a forward slash, a forward slash question mark inside of my, um, my character set. So that question mark validates against all of those. Let's go here. I'll do this one next. Let's see. So I've got a whole bunch of character sets against this one. If I look at my top character set, I've got F, E, A, L, three, four, five, and S. If I look at my left character set, I've got one, L, O, V, E, two, question mark, and four. If I'm just mapping against those, I now have um, an E, a, four, I think that's it. I think I just have an E and a four. Yeah, I think I just have an E and a four. Now this left character set ends with a dot. So this last character here can be anything, but we're still within um, this first character set right here. Okay, so on this left character set, yeah, I have an E or I have a four, right? Yeah, let's look at this bottom character set. I guess this bottom character set, I have a one A L F five dollar sign E forward slash S. Now that E matches both the top one, the left one, um, but does it match the right one? It does not match the right one. So in my right one, I have L A, a white space character, a dollar sign, and a question mark. And I can have as many digits as I want, um, but I cannot have an E. So that's interesting. Hmm. 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 Right? Oh, 
Dang it. L's and L's and too. So L is in love, L is in feel, L is in LA, and L is in elf. All right. That means that we can no longer put digits in this one. We can only put LA space dollar sign in question mark. <laughs> Let me look at this top character set. So I cannot have an F, I cannot have an A, I cannot have white space, I cannot have a T, I can't have the digits one through two. So if I'm looking at this, I still have my L. I still have my dollar sign and my question mark. I lost my E and my white space. If I look at my left character set, I still have my L. Mm, I've lost my dollar sign, but I still have my question mark. So I still have L and question mark that are gonna validate against my left, top, and right regex pattern. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, um, I don't have an L in that character set, um, but I do have a question mark. Yeah, I do have a question mark. So that is going to validate um, against all of those. Let me check this really quick. So let's see, L doesn't validate against the bottom one. A doesn't validate against the left regex pattern. Um, space doesn't validate against the top regex pattern. Dollar sign doesn't validate against the left regex pattern. And question mark validates against all four. Okay, yep, checked it. I'm sure, I'm secure. Let's look at this last one on this row. So my left and my right regex pattern, I'm just gonna work from that character set. I have an L and I have a question mark. That narrows things down a lot. That's actually pretty nice, I like that. All right, I have an L and I have a question mark. Against my top regex pattern, I still have an L and a question mark. I've got this L here, and then I've got a forward slash question mark, which means we're including question mark in this. Against my bottom regex pattern, um, <laughs> so against my bottom regex pattern, um, somewhere I need to have a space in it, but I've got dot plus, so I can have whatever I want. So I'm pretty sure that's a question mark. Let's try and figure out where this space from this bottom regex pattern is going to end up. Let's look at this row. So this row, um, I have a dash P or I have a five dollar sign or I have an AM or I have a Z or I have an L. So that's definitely not gonna be my white space. Let's look at this one. All right, so this one, the last character is not, um... ooh, this is interesting. Okay. Uh-oh. I see a problem. Here's my problem. If I look at this bottom regex pattern, I've got this forward slash question mark. That has to be this character. Then I've got a dot plus. That means I've got one or more of that character, which means that absolutely has to be here. That means that the space ends up here. Now, before that space, I have a dot plus, which means I've got one or more of any character which means I could nudge my space up here, but I can't put my space here because, um, I can put my space here. I can put my space here. That's why I wanted to check and figure out where that space went because it was looking weird to me. All right, so my left regex pattern has the one love two question mark four, but it ends in a dot and that dot is any character. I can put this here because my top regex pattern has that forward slash space in it. So I can include it there this one has the forward slash space and it's the one we're trying to make fit. And this one has LA forward slash S and that forward slash S stands for white space. So yes. Okay. Now I know where that goes. Yes, yes, yes. Validations galore. All right. Well, I should have looked at this one earlier. It's got like an M in it in a convenient place. All right. So my first character is going to be A or D. My second character has to be M. There's no modifiers, no nothing. Um, and then the rest of these are going to be the digits five through eight, a dollar sign, or an L. Let's try and figure out whether this is A or D. Now, if I look at my top regex pattern, I have both A and D in that character set. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, it just says it's not I, L, Y, or O. If I look at my right regex pattern, let's see. I have A, but I can only use A if it's followed by M. So I can put that A. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, and it's followed by M because the M is required. Okay. So that all validates. Uh, M fits within Merdo. M fits within M. So let's see. What do I need this one next? So we have the character set feel three through five and S from our top rigids pattern. From our left regex pattern, we have five through eight dollar sign or L. That has already narrowed us down to five or L. If I look at my right regex pattern, I can have a five, but I can only have a five if it's followed by a dollar sign. I can also have an L. If I look at my bottom regex pattern, ooh. Uh, hold on a second. I can have an L or a 5. I can have an L. I can have an L or a 5. Yeah, I think all of these allow me to have um, an L or a 5. And I can have a dollar sign here based on my left regex pattern, my right regex pattern, um, and my top regex pattern because it just has this knot here. And my bottom one has a dollar sign. So this, this we still can't figure out. This could be an L or it could be um, a 5 and then a dollar sign. So let's try doing this one. Let's see. Let us see. So we have five through eight. We have dollar sign. We have L. Against this right pattern, um, we know that that maps against five dollar sign and L. Uh, if I look at, let's see. If I look at this top regex pattern, I have an L and I have a five. If I look at this bottom regex pattern, I have a dot plus, so these two characters could be anything. Alright, so I guess we're starting... Let's try this one. Let's try this one, because it's clear that this one can will have a dollar sign 5 and an L in it, but it's not clear what order they'll be in. So let's see. So at this point, we're inside of... Yeah, this last character has to be within M-U-R-D-E-W. If I look at my left regex pattern, let's see. So we have a dot, that's the question mark. We have the forward slash one, that's this. We have the F, which is the capture group, which means here and here, we have to use B through E. Now, that means that we're limited to D, E from our bottom regex pattern. Let's look at our top regex pattern. So according to our top regex pattern, we can only incorporate an E here. And by the way, uh, E validates against the right regex pattern um, because we've got feds, a dollar sign, and a question mark. I can only put an E here, according to my top regex pattern, if I put a W here. So let's figure this out from, from my left regex pattern. I'm totally fine because that one just says it's not white space, it's not a zero, it's not an I, it's not an L, it's not an A, and it's not a D. From my right regex pattern, um, this first character the only way I can incorporate a W is if it's preceded by a dash and it's followed by an E. Because I've got that forward slash, which escapes the dash, which just makes it a regular dash. Um, and then I've got W, E. Yeah, and I've got at least one from that character set. So yeah, I think what we figured out now is this is dash W, E. Okay. That's good to know. And this E does validate against our top because it's feel and our bottom because this E is included in the character set and it's not one of these characters. So we're good on that one. Let's try and figure out this one. So it's not I, L, Y, or O. It is between B and E. If I look at my right character set, um, I have feds. And then I have a dollar sign and a question mark. So I just have E and D from that D through E. If I look at my top regex pattern, I have a D here. So that's how I figure out um, which of these it is. Okay. So let's look at this one now. From my right regex pattern, I have... Um, that it is, I have at least one from this not L4-9 in dollar sign question mark. Yeah, and because there's at least one of these, 
this character has to be from this part of the pattern, um, but because we can't fit a dash D and that character, we know that both of these are from that half of the pattern. So we can use this half of the pattern to control um, this spot. Now let's see. I can have, from my bottom regex pattern, I can have a digit, I can have an F, I can have... So my right regex pattern gets rid of the in dollar sign and the question mark. So I have a digit, an F, and an A. If I look at my left regex pattern, there's an A inside of that character set. So I've got the not, space, not zero, not I, not L, not A, not D. Um, so I've gotten rid of that A. So now I've either got a digit or an F. If I look at my top regex pattern, so this last character is an F, and that's why this can be here, um, but there's no modifiers on it, so I can't have more than one of these, which means that the rest of the characters are controlled by this, and there's no F in this not character set, which means that this can't be F, which means this has to be a number of some sort. Okay, so we know it has to be a number, and we know it can't be between four and nine. And that's all we know so far. It has to be a number and it can't be between four and nine. Hmm, and it can't be a zero. Oh, and this top projects pattern says it can't be between one and two, which only leaves three. Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'm excited. All right, so, um, oh, this is nice. So our right regex pattern says that this cannot be between four and nine and it cannot be an L. So if I look at my top regex pattern, um, I still have the O, I still have the space. Um, I don't have the question mark anymore. So yeah, I just have the O and the space from my top regex pattern. If I look at this bottom regex pattern, I'm in the dot plus, which means I've got one or more of any character. If I look at my left regex pattern, um, it says I do not have an L anymore, which means, oh no wait, I already didn't have an L. I don't have a space anymore. Yeah, I can't use a space um, because of this, which means I think all I have is an O, is that right? Yeah, I've got the O from this character set, um, can't have an S, can't have a question mark because of my right character set. Um, I can't have a 5 through 8 because it says it can't be 4 through 9, conveniently enough. Now we're back to here. Hmm. So this left regex pattern says it's 5 through 8, it's a dollar sign, or it's an L. This top regex pattern says it's an L, or it's a 5 through 8, um, lost the dollar sign. This right regex pattern. Oh, this right regex pattern says that it has to be an L, right? Maybe? Yeah, because I don't have a dollar sign in my top character set. Yeah. Yeah, which means this one has to be the five dollar sign. So like I've got a, um, a five here, five here, five from the bottom, and then I've got a dollar sign in my bottom character set. I don't have a dollar sign in my top character set, which has the not. I do have a dollar sign, but only if it's preceded by a five from my right character set. And for my left character set, I have a dollar sign. Oh, okay. So if this validates, um, this is the last puzzle in Bullet Poop. So we're going to be done with the stream for the day. Yay, it validated. Okay, we've got 30 seconds before YouTube whisks you away somewhere else. So start furiously clicking. There's a like button, subscribe button, bell icon. Um, I've got links and stuff in the description. Uh, what else? There are social links below me. Ooh, if future Rachel did her job right, there's a video over here. Ooh. Um, what else? Oh, most importantly, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know if we'll ever see each other again or if you're going to another of my videos. So, aloha.